Hey guys, Alton here. First off, I want to say thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. And for today's video, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at one of my selected lectures from my best selling 10 and a half hour introduction to information security management course. So let's go ahead and let's get into it. In this video, we're going to talk about network sniffing and we're going to do a live demonstration of the software called Wireshark to show you exactly what it is. But what is network sniffing? Well, network sniffing is a process of acquiring data packets as they flow across our network. And we can use these for legitimate means. And we can also use this type of software for malicious means as well. So systems administrators, network administrators, IT security professionals, they can utilize software such as Wireshark, which is something that's called a network protocol analyzer, to sniff the data traffic as it's coming across our network. And we can do it for multiple different means. We can do it for IT security reasons. We can do it for system and network performance. We can also use it to troubleshoot network issues as well. But let's say that we have a malicious user. We have an insider attack, and that person gains access to a network closet, and they plug in a rogue device into our network. Well, they can use software such as Wireshark to sniff data that's coming across our network. And what this will do, Wireshark, this being a network protocol analyzer, they can turn it on and it's going to sniff the traffic and record that traffic as it comes across our network. So why is this an issue? Well, if we're sending data across our network in an unencrypted manner, then they're going to be able to see exactly what we're sending across our network. And that is a security risk. So let's take a look at Wireshark. So let's go ahead and let's open it up. And I already have it loaded. The initial thing it's going to do, it's going to look at all of your different Ethernet connectors. And I have data coming across this one. This is my wired Ethernet connector. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And what's going to happen is it's going to start recording all the packets that are coming into my system. And one thing to note is that this is only just one system. Imagine if it was an entire network. And you can do a lot of different advanced things within here that we're not even going to look at. But what I want you to notice is that I'm not really even doing much on this system. And it's recording all sorts of packets of information. If I go over to my other screen and I start opening up tabs of information on one of my browsers is going to continue to record multiple different types of information. And let's go ahead and let's tell it to stop. Because I just want to open up some of these packets to show you the type of information that it can identify. So let's just open this up. Within this we have a frame, we have our Ethernet information, we have our IP information, we have our TCP information as well, and we can expand all this out and provides a wealth of information. And as you can probably already assume, is that if a hacker gets a hold of information like this, they can probably learn a lot about our network. So that's how software like this works. So Wireshark is a good example. Let me go back and let me minimize this. So there is a website called SecTools.org, and this lists the top 125 network security tools. So Wireshark is listed as number one. Now Nmap is also a very good tool as well, and Nmap is open source as well, and that's going to allow you to map the network. So if somebody gains access to your physical network, they plug in a machine that has Nmap on it, they can run Nmap and it's going to try to map your entire network so they'll have an idea of how your network is mapped. There is Metexploit, which is, I would say, a framework that allows us to develop, test, and exploit code. So this is something that an ethical hacker would use. And then there's Nessus, which is a vulnerability scanner. So it's going to identify vulnerabilities on your system and tell you what they are so you can patch them. And these are all different types of scanners. Now they're all not just network sniffers like Wireshark is, but they are all different types of network-based tools. And if you go to this website, I would say be very cautious with playing with these different tools because you could potentially cause harm to your system or your network if you don't know what you're doing with these. But I wanted to show you this website because it provides you a fairly exhaustive and comprehensive list of the different networking tools that we can use to perform IT security, specifically network security roles. So that's going to be 
our quick introduction and overview to the concept of network sniffing. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you want to download and play around with Wireshark, you can either go here and then click on this little home icon here and it'll take you to wireshark.org or you can simply just go to wireshark.org and go to their download page with Wireshark and let me pull it back up. You really can't harm your system. So if you just want to take a look at this, download it and play around with it, definitely do so. When you go to close it out, it's going to ask you if you want to save what you've captured. So again, we can also use this for offline analysis. We can go and let this run for quite some time. We can then save it for offline analysis and then just do some filtering and take a look at it, at it as well. So it's very powerful. Um, it's highly used in the network administration realm and also by malicious users. So again, if you have any questions regarding this video, please let me know. If not, thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next video. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and you learned a lot from it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're interested in taking this full course or just learning more about it, check out the video description down below because I've included a link where you can learn more about the course and enroll into it if you'd like. So again, thanks for watching my video. I appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you guys at the next video. Take care.